Hi, Sarah here with the layout process video for UK Scrap Addicts. I will apologise, I am a little under the weather at the moment if my voice sounds a bit woolly or a cough or anything, but I'll try and get through this so I can explain what I'm doing from this layout. So to begin with, I am taking some various snowflake stamps. I just went through all my snowflake stamps. I've got about over a decade's worth of little rubber stamps. So I've just pulled out some that are fairly small in size and I'm just adding some Versamark ink and stamping them onto this watercolour paper. This is um, Prima watercolour paper in 12 by 12. So I just do a couple just to show you here, add on some clear embossing powder and make sure the powder sticks to those snowflakes and then tap it off. And then I heat up with a heat gun, as you can see here. And then I do repeat that process all over the entire page. Um, now I'm just adding some water to my background and I'm going to add some brushes. These are like a powder and you just pierce a hole in the top of them and you can just tap out the powder or you can take the lid off and add more. And I found with this the best thing to do is to just do a less is more kind of approach. Add a little bit, add a bit of water and then add a bit more as you need to. So as you can see there I'm just adding my darker colours there all on one side and just adding a bit more powder there. And then on the opposite side I'm just adding this lighter one, these are more turquoise. It doesn't have the darker tones in this one but there are different pigments within each one and it just swirl up and create lots of different colours which looks really pretty. You just have to be careful not to go overboard or add too much water when it ends up looking muddy or if you add too many colours but if you just stick to one part of a colour wheel it tends to turn out good no matter what. So as you can see I just keep adding a little bit more powder, a little bit more spray and now that's dry I did actually add some more snowflakes this time I'm using the Vers Versamark ink again but I then add some ultra fine white embossing powder and this is going on top of the brush out because the um, clear embossing powder the snowflakes did get flooded by the surrounding brush out, so they didn't stand out on top of it didn't work entirely as a resist but I just added some white embossing powder snowflakes on top and I quite like the three dimensional kind of effect of that where some of them look in the background and some look in the foreground. Now to finish off my background I'm just adding some Distress ink and a blend blending tool just blending it around the edges just so that there's a nice even finish around the edge of that page. Here's my photo here, uh, which is a picture of my little boy in the snow. I decided to go with black and white because I just wanted that monotone blue colour on my layout. So I decided to take all colour out of my photo and go with a monochromatic look. I'm just adding my photo onto some vellum first of all, just with a hint of silver. I then tear off the bottom and then add it on again on the sharp edge well on, on the um, vellum there to make a sharp edge and then tear off the other side and then I just add a little bit more of a ruffled edge to it as well. I then add on some of this blue which works really well with the darker colours on the layout. Again I make sure that I've got a neat edge across the top and sides and then I tear across the bottom to add that ruffled finish at the bottom there. And then on the opposite side of that paper it's got the more turquoise colour which I wanted to bring into it as well. So even though it has got little um, cups on it I'm only going to be using a slither around each edge so all I need to do is just um, stick my uh, photo down on top of that. And you can't tell what the pattern is, it just gives you a hint of the different blues instead which is what I was going for. And now I've just grabbed some 
um, ephemera, just that snow piece and a little tag down the side. These are by Echo Park, I've had them a couple of years. I think they may have been from a minor scrap kit. And then I'm also using these fabric um, snowflakes. I've just added some red line tape and stuck that to my photo cluster and onto the tag as well. And then I want to add on my snow across the bottom on top of those snowflakes. So I'm just adding a bit of adhesive there and just gluing them down on top of the snowflakes. I do add additional adhesive behind these later on just to help them stick down, but I didn't bother filming that. Um, now I want to add a little more texture, so I'm grabbing some gauze or cheesecloth, whichever you want to call it. I love using this on um, wintry layouts, I think it works really well, and on um, seaside ones I think it works nicely too. Just adding some matte um, gel to that, and I've just added two layers of the gauze. Now I'm just trimming down some foam, and I'll just let that weigh down and dry. I'm adding additional foam now. This stuff is super sticky but not very thick so that works really well for gluing things down onto most surfaces. And that is my cluster finished. And in order to balance that out nicely I'm just adding a secondary um, ephemera piece at the bottom and again I'm using some snowflakes and some more of that uh, pattern paper just so that the colours and everything balance from the top to the bottom and I've just trimmed that out off my mini die cut machine which is brilliant because you can just use small dies you don't have to get a big machine out if you just want to use it for little circles like I have done behind that ephemera piece to help it pop off the page and I also use it in a minute to make some more snowflakes I've just added some gems there just the tiny ones just for added sparkle and now I'm using some white glitter paper and that's going through my mini die cutting machine as well which if you're interested was uh, from Hobbycraft and it was half price so it was only £15 and I've used it lots of times and I've only had it a couple of weeks so it was well worth buying obviously it only fits small dies so it's just for embellishments mainly now I'm just gluing down lots of glittered snowflakes just to add another layer to my snowflakes so now I've got the ones that are quite blended into the background which were on the embossing, clear embossing, then white embossing which is slightly more stronger colour and then the forefront ones are the glitter ones which stand out the most right at the front. And just to finish it off I'm adding some um, colour shine in as many blues and greeny turquoises and white and silver as I could get my hands on I think I've used I think it was six different ones here and I'm just splashing them around I just covered up the winter and the picture of my boy I just covered him up so he didn't end up with any on him there and that is it complete if you would like to check out what everyone else is up to then please go on to the blog or see the other videos on YouTube to see what everyone else has got up to using stamps this month over on UK Scrap Addicts. Thanks for bearing with me with my Pauliness voiceover and hopefully I'll have a better one for you next time. Have a great day everyone. Bye!